Hello, we are happy to see you here on the Popcorn channel. And today here with me, Anusha and Rishi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. And where are you guys from? We are from, originally I'm from India. Uh, I came here almost 15 years ago. And uh, Rishi was actually born here. Okay. And um, can you tell us in a couple of words what India is for you? And we're going to show the India on the globe to you. Can you do it for us? Yes. Okay, let's start from showing India on the globe. Perfect. It's, it's a big country, right? Yes, it's a big country. The population is uh, huge. So I think it's only next to China in mm -hmm. population, as far as I know. Um, yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> okay. And um, do you miss your mother country a lot? Yes, I think I missed more initially in the first few years, uh, you know, especially parents, you know, mm -hmm. mom, dad, and all the people, friends, you know, but now I think I've made friends here, you know, I have family here, and uh, accustomed to life here, so now not so much anymore. Okay, and I also heard you are into something called Ayurveda, right? Right. Okay. Ayurveda is... Uh, basically a science of living a life so ayur means life and veda means science or knowledge so it is a holistic uh, almost like a medical science mm -hmm. where you focus on physical mental spiritual aspects of a person and empower them to you know improve their health and well-being okay and, and how it's connected to india yeah ayurveda originated in india thousands of years ago. We believe it was like more than 2,000 or 5,000 years ago. It's, uh, it's a long time. Yeah, it's a long, long time back. But the essence of healthy living and mm -hmm. lifestyle and the herbs and spices and plants um, that were used are relevant even today. So it's a science that is used all over the world even today. Cool. And especially our days when a lot of people coming back to nature, right? Trying to refuse from meats eaten and correct, correct. Yeah. yeah so Ayurveda is not really against meat eating but I am a vegetarian so okay. you know my dish is a vegetarian dish okay so what we're going uh, to cook today so today it's a it's a popular dish from India and even in Ayurveda it's called Kichri 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 and uh, it's called by different names in different parts of India so in the south they call it Honga mm -hmm. Um, it's a blend of rice and lentils, spices, vegetables, and ghee, which is uh, clarified butter. Okay, I heard about it a lot actually, but I've never <laughs> seen that. Yeah. So I'm going to see the ghee today. Yes. Perfect. Do you like cooking? Yes. You help your mom a lot? I, I know you can make this wonderful tea, right? You made for me once. Yeah, it was Perfect. So let's start cooking and let's take a look at the products you so Just wrap the carrots in garlic. This is pretty much carrots. Oh my god, you call it towel. Mm -hmm. I would say it's like a nice scarf. <laughs> it used to be a scarf actually. Okay. So this, this is a spice. It's called um, ghee or asafoetida. Okay. Right. So there are some spices in this. This is... I've never seen this one before. This is turmeric. Mm -hmm. okay, this is quite popular, I think, here. Yeah, I heard this, it but it's lot. the first time I've looked at this one. Interesting. I'll show you the spices first. So, of course, salt and uh, black pepper. These are, so, I chopped up some ginger. It uh, in the store as well. Okay. Um, we make it at home by buying uh, cultured butter, mm -hmm. unsalted, and you just cook it for a while, 10-15 minutes, and then its whole, you know, uh, properties change and it becomes this tea. It has a different flavor to it. I believe I know what it means. Actually, we have something similar in our culture, really? but we, of course, call it different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it might cool. be even the same thing. Uh, then there is, so this, these are the main ingredients. So this is lentils. Mm -hmm. 
This is from, uh, this I got online actually. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, called Split Moon Beans. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in English it's actually called Moon Beans. Mm -hmm. Some people call it Mung Beans. It can be spelled with the O-O or just a U. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get it um, in Indian stores or online. This okay. one. And this is a green one and there's a yellow one. If you use it. Same thing. Mm -hmm. This is a more raw, lean version. And then this is a more, they remove the husk of it. Mm -hmm. And then they make this one. Okay. So this is also more beans. And then we have cashews. thing is of course the rice, basmati rice. I didn't carry the whole bag but mm -hmm. it's basmati rice. Okay. Yeah. So it's one of my favorites actually, the long grain basmati rice. Perfect. So in Ayurvedic cooking, basmati rice and moon beans are considered very sattvic or um, healthy, mm -hmm. good for you because they are easy to digest. So it's good for everybody. Um, so we base the food based on body constitution. Mm -hmm. So what you, your body is made of, mm -hmm. there are certain foods that are more suitable for you. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas these, there are a couple of things like basmati rice and moon beans, and even the ghee is suitable to all body constitutions. So everybody can do it. What's everybody? So what we are going to do with all this nice food? Yeah, so there's a proportion to it. You take half cup of this one, mm -hmm. the green split mong, and uh, half a cup of this one, which is a yellow split mong. Okay, so half cup the green ones, half cup the yellow ones. So that makes it one cup okay. total of the lentils. And the proportion is if you take one cup of lentils, it's two cups of the rice. Okay. so. Two rice, one lentils. Yes. Um, and then we just pretty much wash it mm -hmm. and chop the vegetables and mm -hmm. it's all in one part. Easy dish. Okay. Perfect. So what I can help you is I can wash the rice or we can peel the potato oh, peel the carrots, right? Those are not potatoes, those are carrots <laughs> actually. Carrots, yes. Okay, let's go ahead and peel the carrots. I don't know how to use this one. I don't think it. I'll show you. It's it's fairly easy. So you take the carrots in your hands. You take the peeler, like put your finger here, and just. You can do it like that, or you can put your finger here. That's kind of yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So we have to wash the rice and mm -hmm. the lentils. I know there are people who don't realize that mm -hmm. these things have to be washed. You can't just use it out of the packet. Yeah, I believe because uh, like the rice have some starch on it, yes. right? And if yes. you don't wash it, it yeah. will be kind of sticking like right. the porridge, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. And then want to do most clean. Yeah, yeah, and fluffy, right? Right. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So we'll wait for the carrots and then we go to go. Actually, I can start cutting my carrots. What's um, yeah. should I do it like that? Yeah, so we cut it really small. Uh, maybe I can do one. Or oh, we can shred it or just, yeah, maybe go ahead and show me what to do. Mm -hmm. You 
you need a lot of cumin for this dish. Mm -hmm. One of the main spices. I love the smell of the cumin. Mm -hmm. oh, so there are certain spices which are optional, but typically cumin mm -hmm. is used every time. Powder. Mm -hmm. 
this is a whole one. I could open it. I can show you the powder version. So you pretty much you have to chop it and then grind it down. Stone grind. So this is, it's got a strong smell. You can see. It's really a uh, pungent smell yeah, to it. Good. But when you cook it, it, it changes. You know? It smells like a garlic, right? Yeah, but it's yeah, yeah. It's a very strong spice. So we use very little of that one. You don't want to use it a lot. You can show it off. So this, even I'm mean, not even just the food. Just the quarter. Ah. So, and it's um, yeah so you have to like chop a little piece and then grind it down but these days you get powdered so if you go for powdered if you're mm -hmm. using it for the first time this is an authentic way but you mm -hmm. can just buy the powder so asafoetida is English word and mm -hmm. powder and it comes in the cube like that it feels like a caramel right yeah it looks like, like a yeah yeah Pretty much you mix everything, there's an easy way to mix it. Some people are very particular on how much to cook the vegetable and the lentil and they'll do it in phases. Okay. But you know when we're in a hurry you're cooking for family. Okay. <laughs> and now we just need to... Yeah, and key that, more okay. towards the end. Okay. Because it gives that uh, aroma, which mm -hmm. is very nice. So towards the end, yeah. So yeah, I don't buy uh, the store one, so I mm -hmm. pretty much yeah. get that one. But you can get that. I think you can get is she at Trader Joe's? Yeah, Trader Joe's and the Whole Foods even and, uh, and Indian stores. So. You love it? <laughs> you and and you love it like on the bread or? I just like to eat the plate uh, before I eat my dinner. Ah, okay. So you just take your meat spoon and. Yeah, we just um, take a bit and then we just put it on the Wow, it's butter, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a nice one. It's like, <laughs> it's quiet, you know? Yeah. And So we ate in now the ghee butter, right? Yeah, and you can even turn off the stove. It's cold. Okay. So it's all good now? Yes, so it has to be really soft consistency, mm -hmm. almost like a blend. You shouldn't be able to see the rice and lentil mm -hmm. separate. So you can see that's all blended into one thing. Mm -hmm. And it's too hard, so we can just add some time for it and the ghee butter. Do you want the yeah, different spatula? I can, yeah, I can give you a spoon maybe. maybe? No, it's fine. I have the tiny <laughs> small ones, yeah. So, so yeah so depending on how much you're okay with you know but mm -hmm. so yeah we use like moderate so sometimes we use less if we have older parents coming then we would use less of butter and um, when we started cooking I was using actually the, the avocado oil but we could use the ghee right Yes. From the very beginning. Yes, you can. Yes. Okay. Ghee is like I said, it's butter, so mm -hmm. it's more heavy. It's you know, so it's more saturated sweet. fat, you know, but <laughs> it's healthier uh, than regular butter. That's a thought. Okay. And can you repeat what was the name of the dish in? Um... Yes, it's called khichdi. Okay. Uh, so K H I C H A D I. Mm -hmm. Some people call it Kitchari instead of a D it will be an R. Okay. So uh, thank you so much for coming and uh, sharing with us your um, memories uh, about India and cooking with us and thank you so much for watching us here on the popcorn channel we see you soon and um, how we'll say bye in tomorrow um like in india yeah yeah we just say namaste okay namaste <laughs> namaste see you bye, bye.